Welcome to our first segment of Corn Trivia, where learning is fun despite the quarantine. This is a medical-related program of Amicus UNP, where science is made known in the light of God's Word. Let's discover one of God's amazing creations, the immune system. Did you know that before scientists understood the immune system, illness was chalked up to unbalanced humors? Long ago, ancient Greek physicians diagnosed the ills of the body and mind according to the balance of four humors, namely the melancholic, phlegmatic, choleric, and sanguine humors. Credited to the ancient Greek physician Hippocrates, these humors were divided among the four elements of earth, water, fire, and air and were respectively linked to the bodily fluids of black bile, phlegm, yellow bile, and blood. It also incorporated the properties of cold, hot, moist, and dry. Did you know that the state of how social you're feeling right now might be linked to your immune system? Researchers at the University of Virginia School of Medicine have theorized that interferon gamma, a substance that helps the immune system fight invading microorganisms, might be linked to social behavior, which is one of the ways we get exposed to pathogens. Did you know that a weak immune system may result from lack of sleep? Researchers over the past few decades have consistently shown that sleep deprivation depresses the immune system's disease-fighting abilities by decreasing the proliferation of cells called T-cells. Even a single night of poor sleep can impair the immune system by reducing the number of natural killer cells. Now imagine a country or a nation without soldiers. Soldiers have a special function in maintaining peace and order. They protect the country from invaders and also serve to maintain harmony within. Sometimes they even lose their own lives in the process. Our body is very similar. It's like a nation that needs to be protected from invaders. Fortunately, our body has its own powerful army called the immune system. The immune system is a defense system of the body against invading microorganisms. Our bodies are in a constant battle and our immune system has different groups, so to speak, with specific tasks to fight against bacteria, viruses, and other disease-causing microorganisms. Every day, our bodies encounter many of these different microorganisms, but the reason why we don't get sick all the time is because our immune system has different lines of defense to protect us, such that if one line of defense fails, another one steps in. Immunity can be classified into two, innate immunity and adaptive immunity. Innate immunity is your body's first line of defense. It works to fight off pathogens before they start an active infection. It is non-specific to invading pathogens and produces an immediate and rapid response. Innate immunity can be further divided into two lines of defense. Under the first line of defense, we have the skin. The skin is the largest organ of the human body, and together with the mucous membranes, they provide a barrier to the entrance of microbes. We also have mucus that limits bacterial adhesion, traps foreign particles, and later removes them by the action of cilia. We also have chemical barriers like sebum that forms a protective acidic film over skin surfaces that inhibits the growth of many microbes, and the acid in the stomach that kills many pathogens. And we also have antimicrobial peptides like lysozymes in body fluids and defensins in the gastrointestinal and respiratory tracts that can destroy bacterial cell walls. Under the second line of defense in innate immunity, we have phagocytes, which are a type of white blood cell that engulf bacteria and foreign particles. Did you know that one of the most powerful weapons in your immune system's arsenal are white blood cells? Did you also know that a single drop of blood can contain up to 25,000 of them? We also have interferons that protect uninfected host cells from viral infection, and natural killer cells that kill infected target cells by releasing granules, the complement system that can be activated in various ways to destroy bacteria and inflammatory mediators. Next is your adaptive immunity. There are two properties that differentiate adaptive immunity from innate immunity. First, it is specific for particular foreign particles. Second, it has memory or can easily identify pathogens previously encountered and respond directly and more rapidly to them. We have two basic types of acquired immunity. The first one is called humoral immunity or B-cell immunity. Here, the body develops circulating antibodies that are capable of attacking the invading agent. The second one is called cell-mediated immunity, or T-cell immunity. It works by making large numbers of activated T-lymphocytes to kill and destroy foreign agents. 
Both the innate and adaptive immunity work together to prevent damage and disease. Like the other systems of our body, the immune system is also subject to jeopardy. It may become weak and incapacitated due to neglect or our own carelessness. So what are the factors that can weaken our immune system? They include the following. Stress, a sedentary lifestyle, a poor diet, alcohol, smoking, certain medications such as steroids, and lack of sleep. So what will happen if our immune system weakens? When the immune system weakens such that it fails to perform its duty, the body enters into an immunocompromised state. The body's defenses will have notable inability to combat, control, and mitigate various pathogens, resulting to pathologic conditions called diseases. In some devastating forms, the immune system that is supposed to protect the body from invaders are geared towards attacking the body's own tissues, such as in the case of type 1 diabetes, systemic lupus erythematosus, and other autoimmune diseases. With this pandemic that we are experiencing today, it's really important to strengthen our immune system. It's important to take positive action with measures that will help our immune system to work properly. A healthy lifestyle would be beneficial. Eat a healthy and a balanced diet, and don't forget about your fruits and vegetables. Get adequate sleep every night, get into an exercise routine, minimize stress, practice good personal hygiene such as hand washing, and avoid harmful habits such as smoking, drinking alcoholic beverages, and using illicit drugs. If appropriate care is given, the body's immune system will be able to function better, thus leading to a longer and stronger life. Satan is like an invading pathogen. When he sees an opportunity, he attacks. He takes advantage of our weaknesses, and if we are not watchful, he can catch us off guard to make us sick with sin and cause spiritual death in our lives. If we allow him to gain access to us, then he will surely lead us on to ruin. But like the immune system, each of us has a fighter that makes sure of the enemy to defeat him. The Bible says in Psalm 121 verse 7, The Lord will protect you from all evil. He will keep your soul. God is good and he will always be there to help us fight the enemy. Like maintaining a strong immune system, we need to make sure that we have a strong connection with God, for He is the one who will help us in our battles with the enemy. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 says, Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. So what are some ways to build a strong connection with God? Number one, talk with Him every day. Just like with any other person in our lives, communication is important to strengthen the relationship. We can do this by praying, singing, and reading His Word, the Bible. He is always there to listen and to guide us in everything that we do. Number two, listen to what He says. Make sure to stop, look, and listen to what He has to say in His Word. He may have already given an answer, and all we need to do is look and listen. God says in Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 33, Whoever listens to me will live in safety and be at ease, without fear and harm. So make sure you listen as much as you speak. And lastly, number three, obey Him. God knows what's best for us. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. God works in mysterious ways, friends. He created our immune system to protect us from harm, and He has also created a way to protect you from harm when you are tempted and when you are tried, and that is through Jesus. Deuteronomy chapter 3 verse 22 says, You shall not fear them, for the Lord your God, He shall fight for you. Friend, you might be struggling, but whatever the situation is, always remember that the battle is never yours. It's His. God is fighting for you, and you need only to believe. Again, this is Corn Trivia, your new inspirational media. See you next time.